Hey, it's Alice. We are here back for another reading um, on the Divine Feminine Energy. Um, that's what I'm picking up this morning. Um, I hope you're having a great day, evening, um, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. Midnight snack. Three of Cups. I hope you're having... Um, so three of Cups. I'm using this... Um, let me really quick... I'm using this cool deck that is the Rider Waite deck, but it is the Apprentice Tarot deck. Um, and I wanted to show you this because it is awesome if you are, it's, it'd be a really cool one to buy if you were just first starting to read your own cards or just want to play around with the deck. Because see, it has, it has each card and then it also has all the different, lists several of the themes for the card and then also, um, the reverse themes and then along the sides it tells you the meaning of cups and it, on this side meaning of threes so um, when you read tarot there are a lot of different there are I mean pretty much an infinite number of different factors that you're looking into including um, your own or that you're reading from it, a lot of it is about your own perspective and your own vantage and then you channel that into what you see on the cards and um but each card has its own has its own themes its own energies the tarot cards are about energy they're each bands of energy that we can all tune into so it's sort of like the three of cups is like a, the feeling of when you are just getting going with um, something and you get to come together with friends to celebrate and acknowledge, hey, this is going on the right track. The Knight of Swords, um, so the Three of Cups, here I'll read you what it says. It says the support of alliance and friendship, community, strength and unity, social gathering and celebration. So, um, it doesn't always mean literally those things. This is all representational. It's all projectional psychology, um, which means that you project your own meaning. You all, you see just like a light projector or a slide projector projects an image that you see f and shines light through. This is spirit shining light through you, the projector of you. And um, you reflect back what do you think what is this meaning for you so coming together with friends to acknowledge a new a new venture a new um a new um idea a new relationship <clears throat> a new friendship um and then we have the knight of swords coming out so the themes on this card, it says blunt, outspoken, persuasive, quick thinking, bold ideas, attacks problems, and likes to debate. So the Knight of Swords, he comes in charging with um, with quick moving energy. He is, um, knows what he wants. He isn't afraid to say what he wants, even if it might um, be seem to be out of its time like it's not exactly the right time to say it but the knight of swords comes in and um and let's see it's like there's somebody who's coming in to interrupt this little gathering that you've had some kind of um some kind of frustrating person or frustrating situation. Somebody who's always trying to get under your skin comes in to, to let you know something that they think is going to mess up your party. Somebody's trying to rain on your parade, but it's not going to work. Let me let my dog in.
Thank you for your patience. You might have to have some more patience because now it's gonna turn into a <laughs> squeak, squeak a thon. Okay, so there's someone, <laughs> so there's somebody coming in to kind of um, stir the pot. Um, <laughs> just like my dog is whining at the door right when we get hit, um, get on a roll. Um, this is like the Knight of Swords coming in who just wants to be part of the celebration there. Want to um, want to have more influence. They want to be a part of what's going on. They want you to notice them. Um, they want to be able to come along for the ride too. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, skills recognized. Each participant plays a vital role in building. So this Knight of Swords is coming in, but you're, you are getting together your team of, um, your team to work on whatever project or um, idea, friends who are supporting you. Um, and the Three of Pentacles is about that team kind of coming together and solidifying. So this is them celebrating when they first come into, come into um, a union with each other. And the Three of Pentacles is like, Okay, now we're going to sit down and start mapping out what we're going to do, um, what our ideas are, what is, what is our, what is our plan here. So, oh, we've got the Queen Cups and the Lovers in Reverse. The Queen of Cups, she is, <clears throat> so let's see. Looks like this is all for a Queen of Cups. Like we're all building towards um, harnessing or connecting with this Queen of Cups. Uh, the Queen of Cups is sensitive. She's sensual. She's kind. She's um, compassionate. She flows with her emotions. She's intuitive. She, um, it's the suit of water, which are cups, which is a water suit, um, emotions, spirit, intuition, relationships. Um, it's about the flow of life. Um, the queen of cups here is, let's see what, what makes her here? What brings her here? We have the lovers in reverse, um, and the star in reverse, and the two of wands in reverse. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so the two of wands, um, the reverse says, not ready to go, staying in comfort zone, hasty action, no plan, unclear goal. In the upright, it would be um, setting out on a trip or planning a trip of some kind. Um, set planning, planning your next steps. Um, and the lovers, poor choice, relationship imbalance, mismatch, not accepting responsibilities for your decision. So the Queen of Cups here is in lovers in reverse energy, two of wands energy, and the star energy. So there is a dream come true that has not come true yet. <laughs> That's what the star is. The star is a dream and the star is... Um, the star represents, um, it says hope, optimism, replenish or pay it forward. But here in the, in the reverse, it's unrealistic or delusional hope, cold comfort, emotional drained, emotionally drained pessimism and lack of hope. Um, so it's like, like this queen of cups has been trying to get something going and this there's like this knight of swords energy that keeps coming in and shaking things up the knight of swords is too combative it's not really a compatible energy with the queen of cups here it's um very uh assertive um kind of it's like somebody's trying to have a reality check but it's too much like they're coming in and messing up the dream 
So we have everybody coming together. Um, probably our Queen of Cups is in here coming together with friends or loved ones are coming together in the world to make something happen. She's trying to move towards um, alignment so that she can come into union, but there's this Knight of Swords energy that keeps coming in and, kind of, and is stirring the pot. And um, so even though it gets to this Three of Cups and Three of Pentacles energy, she's not able to really get anything off the ground yet because this Knight of Swords keeps coming in and, and um, and trying to debate her, trying to argue, trying to question everything that she's come up with, um, trying to question the direction. This is a Knight of Swords. The Queen of Cups is not interested in swords, but the Knight of Swords comes charging in um, and with spurs on his, on the backs of his feet and everything. It's just a lot of kind of this violent energy that is not, it's not the Queen of Cups thing. She rides on emotion and the flow of life and she doesn't get um she rides the wave she doesn't get overtaken by them but the knight of swords kind of treats everything like it's an enemy everything like it's a um like it's a fight a battle to fight um so we've got this lovers in reverse energy um, relationship imbalance, mismatch, not accepting responsibility for your decision. So I'm seeing this as this imbalanced energy that's keeping the Queen of Cups from being able to move on towards her dream, towards um, towards her hopes and um, plans. Um, let's see what else we have. King of Cups in reverse. See, okay. See, she's trying to get her, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups are partners. Um, but the King of Cups here is in reverse. So I'm wondering if the King of Cups in reverse is the Knight of Swords that keeps coming in. Like the King of Cups, King of Cups, him being in the reverse, he's acting as a Knight of Swords, just kind of coming in and, um, Stirring up the energy. Oh. Um, kind of creating this chaos that is hard to overcome to get these two into union. So the King of Cups here. Emotionally bully, manipulative, insensitive, poor coping skills, cynical, and blames others. So, so there's that kind of energy coming in. It's like he's protective of this Queen of Cups, so he, instead of being kind to her, he's kind of bullying her to keep her in line because he's trying to protect her. But he's really trying to protect himself. When he's trying to protect her, he's trying to protect himself because she is his queen. But it is, he's damaging himself because if when you, when you smother the Queen of Cups, you're going to drown her. You can't can't do that you can't um you can't be a bully and have your queen of cups too let's shuffle here Four of Wands in reverse. So Four of Wands in the upright, it can be a wedding, um, some kind of a big celebration of um, accomplishment, um, something like that. And I'm thinking here it's a union, here it's a wedding, a coming together. And it's in reverse. It hasn't happened yet. It, it's, um, it's sort of in the wings. And I'm seeing this as... You know, it's this this King of Cups energy where he's bullying and manipulative and um, doubting, he's skeptical. Um, it is creating this 
this shaky foundation, like this card says, shaky foundation for the relationship. It's not, um, okay, stop, talk, stop. Um, creating a shaky foundation. Puppies, outside, out, come on. <laughs> I just wanna hear the reading. Um, downplaying an accomplishment that's standing out to me. Um, it's like the king doesn't want to acknowledge how brilliant the Queen of Cups ideas are. Um, Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Um, yeah, she is abundant and full of ideas and full of um, a great plan. She is um, she's not just the queen of cups, she's the queen of pentacles. She knows what she wants. She is not afraid of scarcity. She creates her own magic. She, the queen of pentacles is mothering, um, it says down to earth, practical, resourceful, temperance in reverse. Mm -hmm. um, and so temperance in reverse, imbalance, misaligned, excess, extremes, impulse, suppression, wishy-washy, mediocre. So temperance, that's the balance card. It's this holy balance that, um, that uh, it's, it's the balance where we can get it has you have to hit this point of balance so that you can have all the success and all of the good things come in for you. And temperance here, it's in reverse. Temperance is also the card of um, twin flames. The twins have to be in balance in order to come into union. And here, there is not balance. Um, we still have the King of Cups in reverse, and um, even though our Queen of Cups is also showing up as a queen of pentacles we can't um move with it while there is not any balance so there's got to be some balance the emperor ha. okay well now we're talking so so here comes our emperor it looks like our um So this is like the for the force of the divine masculine coming in and transforming writing this imbalance. It's like all right, forget all the other stuff. I'm going to come in as the emperor, which is the strongest masculine in the deck, and that is going to stabilize everything. I'm going to balance this queen of cups and queen of cups, queen of cups and queen of pentacles with this emperor energy and start trying to turn things around. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> the Emperor. What's our Emperor gonna do? I've got all this reverse energy. We've got this plan and this momentum coming. Nine of Swords. Um, <clears throat> this is the Sleepless Nights card, um, anxiety, uh, insomnia, the hermit. Yeah. So the, the emperor, he's been in this nine of swords energy, sleepless nights, the hermit, but it is, there's been some downtimes, but he's really been in this introspective, um, beneficial mode of being in the hermit, which is where you isolate and you kind of pull yourself together, go back to your separate corner and and reevaluate. So it's this energy of um, kind of assessing, taking steps back and assessing, removing distractions, and refocusing in on what is the dream, what is the dream that we're moving towards. So the emperor is getting his shit together. Um, 
And you see he has this little lantern with the star that's the, you know, he's trying to um, take care of the dream now. Instead of, see the star is in reverse here and the hermit, he's gently taking care of this dream and nurturing it rather than um, trying to come in as a knight of swords and just um, kind of blow through all the downsides and everything that he's trying to, that he brings up when he's in the Nine of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Um, this is, so in the Hermit mode, that is very compatible with Eight of Pentacles. Energy, Eight of Pentacles being um, learning, mastering the skill, apprenticeship, craftsmanship, taking pride, making goods. Um, and Six of Pentacles, and it's in reverse. So this says social, financial inequality, strings attached, selfish, taking help for granted and ungrateful. So I'm seeing this as um, social and financially unequal. Um, strings attached. It's like he's still trying to scheme using the old paradigm. Still trying to scheme using this energy of the Knight of Swords, which is too brash. It's not, it's not a loving energy. It's not what, it's not, you don't come in to the Queen of Cups with the Knight of Swords energy. It's not, it's too, it's too much. Um, it's too heavy. It's too stressful. And likewise, you don't come at the Queen of Pentacles as a Knight of Swords. So you need, there's not enough respect here. And that's why all this stuff is imbalanced. And we have the Six of Pentacles. So there's this hermit mode and there's this selfishness that's coming in. But the emperor needs to be a little bit selfish so he can stop and recognize that in order to really be there for himself, he has to embody this emperor mode and not a knight of swords mode. He has to really take care of himself in order to be able to come to the queen of cups, come right to her. And he's really seeing her as not only his Queen of Cups, but his Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups, happily ever after card, but it's in reverse here. Family problem, problems, dysfunction, upset, unhappy, lacking emotional connection or support. So he's in hermit mode and it's not exactly... Um, it's lonely. He's lonely. He is having, he is thinking a lot about his Queen of Cups, but he's not with her. Um, he hasn't been able to figure out how to, how to come to her yet. Um, and this, and so there's this sense of like, you're wanting this happily ever after and it just hasn't, it feels like it's so far away, like it can't really come in. Um, you're feeling selfish, like you can't, manifest this because you're too self-involved um too self-involved in trying to hone your craft it's like what you really need is just to be able to be yourself you don't need to have all this other extra stuff emperor like all you need to do is just be yourself be the emperor responsible be in your position of power be a leader um maintains order solid foundation he's a solid solid um, masculine and we need to get him on his throne so that we can get this ton of cups energy upright look at all this reverse see there's this dream that's circulating and I think the big energy here is that it's like the dream is so palpable but it's like not there yet it's like that's that's why it's such big energy here. We've got the Lover's Temperance, Lover's Ten of Cups, Temperance, which is the Twin of Flames, the Star, the Two of Wands. It's like, <clears throat> it's like this is the energy that is hanging in the air. It just has not come in because none of the, because the situation is not set up right. We've got the Four of Wands in reverse. Our King of Cups was in reverse. So that's our Emperor who keeps waffling between um, these reverse energies and, and this, um, fully embodied masculine energy, 10 of swords in reverse, mental recovery, deep wounds, he'll slowly time to engage with something new. So 
he's been through a lot, our emperor. So there's a reason that he's so like combative coming in too headstrong. Um, he's very uh, pugnacious. He's um, means he likes to fight, argue, um, just on the defensive sort of. And um, it's just kind of, grouchy <laughs> I'm getting a little depressed a little depressed kind of just having trouble figuring out how to connect the dots the emperor what he really wants is his empress but here he's by himself he's just the emperor um, he is without his his empress and the emperor is very sustainable it's a sustainable energy he can be in the emperor for as long as he wants to it's not it's not going to go anywhere but um the emperor is only satisfied for so long without an empress see that's that is the culmination of the alignment of the emperor is to be in union with the empress um but he's in mental recovery. He's had a lot happen to him. He's had a lot that's informed his tendency to charge in page of swords upside down. <sighs> oh. So on this card it says reverse silly ideas easily influenced by others still learning and intellectual novice so it's like he hasn't he hasn't really he thinks that he needs to have all the ideas and be everything in order to be able to come into union with his empress and he thinks his not only does he worry that his ideas are silly he does have silly ideas because they're not and he is still learning and he's going to be an intellectual novice as long as he doesn't think that he needs the empress to balance so he's trying to get balanced by himself but he really needs to be able to acknowledge the equity of of the divine feminine he needs to be able to acknowledge the divine feminine itself in order to ever be able to come into union with the empress. So the queen of cups and the queen of pentacles, she is not being held down as much as this emperor is. She's kind of just on this runway waiting to take off. You know, they've been preparing. She's been preparing the plane, preparing Everybody's gotten their beverages. We're still just waiting to take off here, but she is in a good spirit. She's got good ideas. She's got her direction all mapped out. She's just waiting to be able to take off. And there's this energy of this masculine who isn't here, but he's somehow still holding her back, causing setbacks. Um, and he kind of because he thinks he's doesn't need her he doesn't want to have to need her he doesn't want to have to need her he thinks he, he he doesn't want her to have to do anything but what she wants to do is be an equal partner and for them to and for them to come together and like come up with their ideas in tandem and as a team um, and that's why the Emperor is feeling like his ideas are silly or incomplete or not very good ideas it's because he doesn't have his divine feminine there to help him balance and execute these ideas they're not bad ideas it's just um, you can't do everything yourself Emperor eight of swords in reverse easing self-censorship less insecure letting go of damage and negative thinking um so that's where our emperor is trying to 
trying to let go. I'm trying to let go, but, but he, see, he's like holding on to this, um, whatever you call that, like that little rod, um, that little onk rod. And it's almost like security, security blanket object. He's just kind of gripping it so tightly. Um, like he's worried if he lets go that it's going to fall and break or that he's going to lose his power. The nine of wands, resilient, battle weary, but not giving up, bruised, watching out for the next pred predicament. So he's not going anywhere. He's, he is in this stuck energy, but he's not, uh, he's not, um, He's not backing down. Five of Wands, a conflict, inner conflict, clash of ambitions. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Too much time, effort put in for meager results, impatient, investment, anxiety, poor planning. See, all this stuff is coming in because it's our emperor by himself. And our Queen of Cups and our Queen of Pentacles are just kind of sitting here in their own worlds, dreaming and planning. And they're both, you know, where is their Empress energy? Where is their Emperor energy is what I really meant to say. But where is their Empress energy? Why are they not able to get into their... Why is our queen not coming into an empress energy? Tell us more about why the queen is not coming into empress energy. Chariot in reverse. The chariot is this big incoming, um, this big incoming energy, this big change that could be coming in, big news, um, but it's in reverse. It's like she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to charge ahead without him. She can't move forward in this chariot energy without her emperor. I'm getting kind of teared up. You can't move forward without her without her emperor. Like here's the chariot coming coming in to take them both. And here is our twins, our black and white sphinxes, like the twin twins, um, high priestess in reverse. So our queen, weak intuitive sense, too passive, quiet, secretive, difficulty keeping quiet and still. So it's really damaging her to not have the emperor there. She's out of touch with her in her most intuitive self she's trying to be in alignment but without the emperor she is off her game Ace of Wands, misdirected energy, weak ambition, blocked, bottled up energy and frustration and uninspired. She's kind of losing her. She's losing her ambition. She's losing her drive. She's been in this, I keep seeing this three of cups, um, these three like dancing around in a circle, celebrating, but it's like the celebration eventually moves on from them dancing around in a circle, cheersing. They're their cups um and here it's like they don't have anywhere to move the knight of swords is kind of running circles around them and they're like waiting for everyone to come
get started with them and mark the beginning of this new journey and there's nobody coming. I mean, there's no, yeah, there's nobody coming. The emperor is not here. There's just this, this knight of swords energy and this palpable, heavy energy of like the lovers not having come in, 10 of cups in reverse, the chariot in reverse, high priestess in reverse, the star in reverse, two of wands in reverse, all this it's like this outline of exactly what she wants and what he wants, but it's not coming in because our emperor is stuck and our queen is stuck. The emperor is taking on too much responsibility, too much responsibility. I'm surprised he didn't come through in reverse, but it's good that he didn't. But he's, it seems like he's taking on too much responsibility for um for the dreams of the queen of cups but really she's in charge she doesn't need him to take responsibility she needs him to the masculine provides structure support the feminine provides the dreaming and the masculine provides the structure and support and helps execute. But here it's like the Knight of Swords comes in and slashes down the ideas instead of helping build her up. It's just um, breaking down all the ideas. Um, Tell us more about this message. What are we getting? How are we going to get this chariot back in the upright? Hanged man. In reverse. <clears throat> hanged man in reverse. So hanged man um, is all about being in such a tight spot that you're able to shift your perspective and <clears throat> see something different. It's like those magic eye pictures that you, where you can look at it really close, where it looks like it's just a bunch of uh, a bunch of little pictures on like a fractal image on a page and you cross your eyes or, or you kind of look at it really closely and hold it away from you and then in a 3D image emerges like of some dinosaurs or something completely um, different than you saw in the 2D version but really what that's about is like you have to get in hanged man energy in order to get that perspective you've got to you can't just glance at the magic eye picture and you'll just keep or just look at it. You can't just look at it in a normal way. You have to really get centered and stare at it in a certain way and adjust your perspective in a certain way in order for it to come into come into um, focus as the 3D image in order for you to get the perspective on the image. So that's like the hanged man energy that's what the hanged man energy gives us hanged man is not about um it's not about being trapped it's not about being hung like that it's about it's about pausing and finding a different way to look at something and it giving you the different way of looking at something giving you a completely different outlook on completely different information everything but the hangman it's in reverse refusing to consider another point of view aloof playing the martyr stagnant so i'm wondering if our feminine has been playing the martyr <clears throat> queen of cups queen of pentacles they are a little like sort of these humble looking 
images. Um, it's like this sort of I can do no wrong idea. So maybe she's um, who's the martyr here? Stagnant. I mean, so we've got stagnant energy. We can tell we're really locked up here. Playing the martyr, though. That's where she's gotten stuck. She's been waiting, you know, at first it's like, well, I have a great idea. I have a great idea. And is anyone going to help me? And then when nobody does, she says, okay, well, I guess I'm not going to be able to do it after all. And, um, and that's where we're getting stuck. That's like sort of like playing the martyr um, where... kind of letting her dreams get dashed by her own, you know, she's seeing the roadblocks and she's succumbing to them rather than pushing through the roadblocks. She doesn't stand up and tell the Knight of Swords to get out of the party or to get off his horse and grab a drink. She lets him, lets the, lets the, lets her um, initiatives be, waylaid by this knight of swords energy it's like but she, it's like she's waiting for the emperor in order for it to in order to keep executing her ideas and her grand plans but he's coming in as this king of cups in reverse and it's like she's been mourning this king of cups in reverse instead of noticing that there is an emperor there. Who is in need and want of a, an empress. Seven of wands in reverse. Um, surprise attack not ready. Poor weak defense defending the indefensible and giving in. <coughs> so... Um, Ten of Pentacles. Um, so, Seven of Wands in reverse. It's like the rug has to be pulled out from under her because she's sort of folds everything up and goes at the first hint of there being a Knight of Swords coming. She's like, okay, well, I guess we can't do it now. I guess we can't do it now. I guess I can't do my idea now. I guess we can't move forward in this energy now. I guess we can't come together yet um, into union. Um, and it's like this Knight of Swords is seen as this surprise attack where really what she can, what you can do with a Knight of Swords is to get them on your side. You know, you need to get this guy off his horse and try to talk to him a little bit, but the Knight of Swords is persuasive and quick thinking, has bold ideas, attacks problems, likes to debate. That's somebody you need on your side. Um, and right now they're just kind of, it's this clashing energy of these, these women trying to have a lovely little gathering celebration. And then here comes the Knight of Swords barreling in. But you know, the masculine, when it first came, comes in, it can seem kind of brash. It can seem, um, it can seem outspoken. It can seem, um, harsh. It can seem, you know, there's a lot of, uh, impact, a lot of, uh, momentum with the masculine incoming and it's like it's just not quite matching up with our three of cups energy and it ends up like our king of cups kind of falls on his face it's a king of cups on his face is in the knight of swords energy um and it's like she needs to be prepared to prepared to 
prepared to meet any challenges that come in her way, prepared to meet any setbacks with confidence, prepared to continue on the road that they have been going on and not fold up shop. Um, we're not going to, this is not going to destroy our union here because we have this, there is an, it is an emperor. This Knight of Swords clashing with the Three of Cups and temperance in reverse, it's not going to, it is not going to, um, none of this reverse is taking away from the fact that we do have an emperor here and we do have our queen. We just, um, I'm getting that the Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, is is in this Ten of Pentacles energy. It says, well-established family, wealth, prosperity, legacy, inheritance, building upon success. I think the Emperor is in, has, sort of has this kingdom that he's, that he's created, and the only missing piece is his Empress. He's, has all the abundance of, um, and no scarcity. He's conquered all of that, has, he has his own family and family support. Um, he's well taken care of. Kitty? Kitty. Um, here. It's in this Ten of Pentacles energy. Hey, kitty. What do you think? What do you think? Can we get this emperor to kind of relax so that the our empress can come in? Eight of Wands. <clears throat> quickly moving information, quickly moving energy. Um, and that came out on top of this chariot came out atop of the chariot, um, aimless, uncontrollably fast, stalled, delayed, obstructed, restricted, losing momentum. Um, so it's like she's sort of just grinding to a halt. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. She's grinding to a halt. Where is our emperor? Judgment in reverse. Spiritually stuck, lack of remorse. Avoid self-evaluation, bearing guilt and shame. So I'm seeing spiritually stuck. So what is going on with the emperor? He's spiritually stuck. He has his ten of pentacles, but he does not have this empress. He is sort of having an existential crisis. It's like, here I have every single thing I could possibly want. Why am I not satisfied? And he doesn't He's scared of the fact that it's the real missing piece is the Empress. It's not, it's not any more money. It's not another piece of good luck. It's nothing like that. It is his Empress and it is, you know, we have judgment in reverse where he is noticing this, these things about himself and, uh, about his life. And he, um, It's dissatisfied. It's it's slowing him down. So we've got a lot of slow slowing down energy here. Everything's at a grind, at a, and we have all the pieces to a happily ever after. But most of them are in reverse. They just haven't quite come in. So what is the what is the sticking point here? I mean, what is what is going to be the piece that can unlock that can unlock all of this all of this good energy that we have here? We've got to unlock it and get these two unstuck so that they can come together and start working on their mission together. The, these twins need to be together. Um, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Too self-indulgent, longing to fill a void. Unaffordable luxuries, living beyond means. Um, so... This could be too 
self-indulgent. I'm seeing that as the emperor here, too self-indulgent, too putting too much emphasis on taking care of himself instead of um, Queen of Swords, instead of opening up his life to a partner. Um, somebody might be living beyond their means or they're afraid of that. That might be a fear here. They're scared of living beyond our means if we really put all of our eggs into this basket and really try. You're scared that this dream, all this dream, this, um, this partnership is going to be too much and there's no way to, that you can actually quote unquote afford it, whether it's monetarily or whether it's like you can, whether you can sustain it with your own energy. Um, <clears throat> The emperor is longing to fill a void and th this might be true for both of them i mean i think it is the emperor though he's longing to fill that emperor's void and it's like as long as he's staring at the void then there's not going to be anyone who's going to step into it it's like he's too fixated on the void rather than the dream um queen of swords When our queen is in queen of swords energy, she's communicative, she is clever, she is um, a resource. So maybe there's a change happening. <clears throat> maybe the emperor is seeing her as his queen of swords now, like and kind of putting her. The queen of swords is a little. Um, all the queens and kings are one half of a partnership, but of all of them, the queen of swords is the most independent. And the queen and king of swords are the most independent. They are very self-assured, very. Um, very um, self-confident. They've got all their ducks in a row and they know it. Um, and he might be looking at her as this queen of swords, like she doesn't really need me. Look how well she's doing without me. Um, I thought I could come in and help. I thought I had a lot of good information, and good good energy to bring in, and it turns out that I was just messing everything up. I was just, um, it was not going to. Not going to work because I'm trying to change. trying to change her, and instead of changing her into an empress, you change her into a queen of swords. Which, in order to be an empress, you need to have queen of swords energy, and queen of cups, and queen of pentacles, and queen of wands energy. But um, as long as she's just being seen in any one of these energies, then she can't be, can't be our empress, and we therefore can't have the divine union between the two. Queen of Swords, that could be where, where our take it out of this is the Queen of Swords kind of conquers the Nine of Swords. It's she puts him in his place. So they're sort of sharing. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Financially irresponsible. Lacks job experience. Requires more skill. Page of Wands in reverse. Always start, never finish. Dampening enthusiasm. Problems with new endeavor. endeavor overzealous. Wow, this is some heavy, heavy energy. Um, it's 
So the Queen of Swords is in Page of Pentacles in a reverse. New project, venture skill. It's, it's in the it's in the reverse though. So this unrealized project and their unrealized union. <clears throat> we could be having, I'm seeing financial irresponsibility, um, which is, you know, even just those words give me a lot of anxiety. So I'm thinking that that is what is going, could be going on here. Um, the Queen of Swords has been trying to work on this project and it just hasn't come in yet. And um, she's at odds with her emperor or they're just on completely different timelines and it's just not coming in. like our partners are getting they're getting so lost in all this energy just getting buried and buried it's like there are so many doubts so many different two of cups in reverse misunderstanding relationship imbalance tension Codependent. Maybe our emperor is the one who's codependent. The Queen of Pentacles flits around through all these energies. We had the King of Cups in reverse, which could be that's like a very emotional, uh, emotional um, king. The King of Cups is kind. He's compassionate, sensitive. He is. And when he's in reverse, it can be that these things are maybe part of his downfall, like it's not benefiting him. Codependency can come in. So it's like he's been able to move into this emperor mode, but he's left behind. Left behind his queen in order to get there. It's like hyper self sufficiency where it's like he's not even benefiting himself he's so self-sufficient that it's backfiring king of wands bold leadership decisive motivates others clear direction and intention ambitious and driven so he okay here we get a little bit queen of and queen of wands look at that Strong, self-assured, charismatic, extroverted, independent, enthusiastic, inspires others. So these two, all right, here we go. We're getting some movement here. Our emperor had to back down and get back into some King of Wands energy. We need some energy of transformation. I was saying all this energy is so stuck. There's so many reverse cards here. The bad cards are in reverse and the good cards are in reverse. And... Um, and our players are just, yeah, yeah, our players, that's always my, when I get a card like that, that means I need to put those down. Um, we've been so stuck and we've finally got, somehow, it's like I'm seeing these cogs just turning and turning like you're unlocking a, unlocking a combination lock and it's like the the three little plates have to come together exactly right. And here we've turned it enough that we've gotten it. We've gotten both our king and our queen of wands out at the same time. They've never been in this energy before. And it's like, this is the energy that was missing. There's not a lot of wands on our um, spread here. Um, and the ones that are here, they're all in reverse. And finally, we've got the king, the people who can get them. 
turned in the upright are the king and queen of wands. And here they finally come out together. So, um, I mean, they come out together, which is really a sign that they are spontaneously coming into union. They appear here together. The emperor has stepped down into king of wands energy so that he can get his so that he can take his Queen of Cups and turn her into a Queen of Wands. They are both in this mutually um, they're in this mutual partnership. Um, I'm sorry. All partnerships are mutual, but they are in this I'm seeing something about a cat. Um, you might have a cat. They might have a cat. You might, both might have a cat. Um, black cats are, uh, I was going to say lucky. I think they're lucky. Um, they are often known as being unlucky, but here it is, she's a sign of magic and transformation. And the wizard is also a sign of, of transformation. Um, that's why we have the sa the salamanders on the on the on the robe here and on his throne. Um, it's this transformation from this stuck, stagnant energy. I'm gonna collapse some of this. All right, let's put our lovers with our two of wands and our ten of cups and the star. We're gonna collapse that. Um, and I am also going to take our Knight of Swords and our Three of Cups. I'm sick of Three of Cups energy, aren't you? Three of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Collapse. All this mess. seeing clash of ambitions we've got to put away the clash of the ambitions because because the emperor and the empress do not clash they have mutually compatible ambitions um mutually compatible ambitions they um it's a true partnership and if anyone can come in and shake up and um fix this energy that's happening where it's all just completely stuck and turned upside down it's like who's in charge here the king and queen of wands are the ones who can do it so um as a feminine in this relationship you're going to need to Don't let outside influences come in and tell you what you can and can't do. You need to focus on your own strengths, focus on everything that you've built because you've built a lot. Focus on what you've built, focus on your strengths, um, and just try to let go of the things that seem to be holding you back. Take, try to let go of the fear of what are people going to say about me, what are people going to... Um, how am I going to survive? How am I going to stay stable? It's these kind of fears that are preventing our emperor from coming in because the emperor is really the answer to a lot of these, these questions. But as long as you're wondering them in this and creating this, you're creating a void where it can never actually come in. So the king of wands, likewise, he is, um, it says bold leadership, decisive, motivates others clear direction and intention, and he's ambitious and driven. So this, this king of wands, it's like the two of them step into their, step into their king and queen of wands role and take each other's hands and they can roll into this reality where they can move forward and um, move towards the dream that they have, the projects that they want to work on. 
what they want to do in this life, whether, whether they want to create a family, create um, some kind of career path, create a new paradigm, create a new society. Seven of Wands is, is sneaky, sneaky card. Surprise attack and not ready. Poor weak defense, defending the indefensible and giving in. So, um, chariot in reverse again. Okay, because I grabbed the other deck, but say the chariot's in reverse again, and so is the seven of wands. Um, These two have just got to stay on their toes. I mean, it's just like at every turn, there is some something else is coming in. We get into King Queen of Wands energy, and then we then we get another chariot in reverse. They've got to stay strong. Um, because there are a lot of factors that are preventing these two from coming into union, preventing these two from um, finding their true success and it's getting them down. I mean, I'm seeing them like looking off in different directions. Um, it's like their spunk isn't here, but if they can, Strength, the moon. Yeah. So it's like this is this is a message. There's a lot of conflict, but there is a union that can that is coming in. There's a lot of adversity. Um, there are a lot of obstacles, and they're going to keep coming. Um, these two are targets. These are the divine feminine and the divine masculine. They are going to be targets for, you know, people who are jealous, people who don't like the idea of other people having any success. Um... And they've just got to ride through it. But they have each other. The Queen and Queen of Wands. They have each other now. They have their strength. It's like the hold. Hold on. Be patient. King and Queen of Wands. Patience is not their biggest strong suit. But here, they have it. They've been through so much. And so many roadblocks. You saw all those roadblocks come out in this reading. They have been so through so much that they're showing this um this incredible strength and they will be able to get past it um the infinite so it's like harnessing the 3d in order to be able to have access to the infinite and that's what that's what these queen and king of wands are doing the moon hidden buried things emerge anxiety fear shadowy illusion deception and confusion so there's still some fears here, and that's part of what's keeping us in this energy. There's fear. There's a lot of fear. It's like fear of what is going to happen if I do um, actually bring my A game and bring bring my whole self. What will happen? Will I lose myself? Will um, just you know fears that are coming up but these two these two are not going to let fear get in their way because they have this this strength we have sunflowers and a lot of yellow and gold and the lion on the strength card represents leo and there's a bright yellow sky it's really pretty um 
So there's a lot of this energy of new life and sunshine and, and progress. And saw the sun and the magician. Yeah. The moon and the sun. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's pure, um, it says vitality, vitality, exuberance, um, awareness, clarity, happiness. Um, so it's like they have their king and their queen, the moon and the sun, and they are in this energy of transformation. They're in a wand, suit of wands. The magician is the energy of transformation. He's the alchemist. He... Um, uses spirit to alter and change the energy of the earth the 3d and he can do anything that he wants to do um and the two of them they are in this energy of the magician and so it's really from here you know i don't think our empress is going to come out in this reading but she is on the way because our king of wands had to back out back off from his false emperor mode because the emperor is not the emperor without his empress and we had to back off of that because he was trying to be in empress mode before he had his empress and um, it's just not going to work. And here we have the queen and the king of wands. They confront the moon and the sun, the divine feminine being the moon, the divine masculine being the sun. Um, and strength hanging on. They have gained tremendous inner strength through all of this. Um, and they're going to be able to transform, transform it into anything they want. The star, the moon, the sun, the sun, the happiest ending. There might be a child coming. There could be a baby. There could be a literal baby. So somebody might be pregnant. Wow. Okay, I'm going to stop the message here. Thank you for listening. Hit the like button and subscribe if you resonated with this message. If um, you like my channel, then come back for more. There'll be more messages. Um, more messages on the Divine Feminine and on love and anything that is really going on in your world. Thank you.